<laughs> Cow forever here. Just gonna clean off that land. Let's focus. All right, we're focusing. Maybe not. All right, Cal Forever here. And this is a channeling for uh, what I went and still going through and am finishing up now because this happened just a little over a year ago or maybe about a year ago or when I completely did this thing that some people call the void where it's like three days of darkness but I'm going to explain it in a different way and it will make a lot more sense to you. Um, so basically what we're doing when we go through this spiritual awakening or this huge change and shift and in growing into higher consciousness and to later on activate our light body or start activating it after this is this thing called the void where we go through these three days of darkness. And to me, it's just kind of leading up to this whole point that as of before, we would do this in death and we would go through this similar same process through like actual physical death. But right now, because we're going through ascension, it happens in a much different way where we're conscious and alive through it. As of before, when we would die, we would do it unconsciously. Now we're doing it consciously. So here's the analogy or the metaphors, whatever they are. Um, so it's like our whole life, like we've created this garden a whole life. And as of my life before, is I did a really good job at maintaining this garden. And as a child, you kind of have other people maintain your plants for you and grow your trees and then it comes to a point when you're an adult where you have to like start taking care of it. And for me, I didn't do a very good job. I had an alcohol problem and stuff and uh, a drug problem kind of. And uh, just all sorts of, which, which weren't even like the real reasons of why there was a root of kind of why I had those problems. It had nothing to do with alcohol or drugs or medications or anything. It had to do with you know, something that happened to me as a child when people were supposed to be taking care of my garden and maintaining my root, my roots and my survival. And, and it just did not work out very well because these people kind of, which, which were a lot of times were my loving parents, they did the best they could. Otherwise, they would have done better. And, but, you know, it comes to a turn where your turn to kind of take care of your own garden. And so that's what I did. So I pretty much went to every plant and I uh, uprooted it. I realized that almost all my plants were at disease. There was this, and so I kind of went through and weeded out all the plants till I got to the middle and the center of the garden. I realized there was this big ugly tree in the middle that I'd been kind of pruning my whole life and like trimming up the limbs, but it was still at disease. This giant tree of life was still at disease. And I didn't know what to do. You know, I tried to prune it my whole life by taking medications, to drink when I felt like I needed to. All these ways I, I could have pruned, I pruned this tree to make it look beautiful. It still didn't look beautiful. It still didn't produce very good fruit. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to have to dig up this tree. And so I uprooted this tree and composted everything from this tree and all my plants back into the this black dirt, all this this really black, black fertile dirt, all this darkness, all this dark fertile dirt, all the mother fertile dirt, and then I decided to start with the middle again in where that tree of life was and to plant a new tree of life seed there. And and once I planted that seed I had to call in the rain where I had to cry. I had to let the rain come in and and it rained for three days and then the sun came out and there was a sun shower and then there was rainbows and the rainbows were beautiful and then it stopped raining and then birds and doves were flying and, and uh, the birds sang to me and then 
and then the seed for my new tree of life sprouted and came up and and started growing and so I maintained this tree and and kept raining and kept allowing the rain to come when I needed it to to allow it to grow properly and and every morning I kept seeing rainbows after the rain after the sun shower and then uh I decided to plant new seeds for new things in my life and when weeds would come up in those new areas of my garden I would pull them and I'd I'd maintain the beautiful plants that I wanted there and 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 allow new roots to take hold and and so now I'm kind of to the point where my garden of life my garden of Eden is kind of to the point where I'm almost finished in in the fruits on that new tree of life. I'm about ready to harvest them and 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 now I'm about ready to eat them with with my eve with my with my energy my my new life partner. I'm about ready to share those fruits from my tree as if she would share her fruits from her tree with me. <sighs> I hope this is a great analogy or metaphor for you to understand what it's like to go through the void and to go through this change that we are going through right now on this path of ascension. And I love you and I pray for you that you uh, call on the rain and there will be plenty of praying bows there for you when you need them. All you need to do is ask and I know they will be there. Ah. <sighs> I love you forever and ever. Calvino Stover.